Ladies and gentlemen, it's Alan and Ginter Day, a day that many look forward to. It's a lot of people's favorite. A lot of people hate it. We're going to rip it open, see what we can find. You know, one of the fun things about this release is that there are rip cards. Probably the best thing about the release, actually, rip cards. And we're going to find one or two, maybe, or three. I don't know how many. We're opening the equivalent of a case, along with some Bowman Chrome, and then we're going to call that a Friday. We got three breaks in store today. Yeah. Kyle over on Facebook says, I just got one today. No clue what the hits are. Well, you, you should probably go to check out the checklist. Type in 2023 Allen Ginter checklist on Google. Find it. You can find some hits. Wembenyana's in here. Um, I think Anthony Richardson. There's just, there's just like a bunch of other uh, top tier sports players in here too that have autographs. And just getting the volume set right right before I do this. Break number one. Pile on in, everybody. We got a hundred in the house right off the rip. Shout out to Eric, Bryce, Chris, Scott, Ray, Ray, DeKine, Sick Nasty, Red Sox King, Peter. Let's see what we got. Yeah, also there's hot boxes of this. So we should get at least, I think there's two hot boxes per case if I read correctly. If I recall correctly. Are you in the break, Caleb? Allen and Ginter. 
box loader. We're hoping for one of the big boys to come out of here tonight. Acuna, these are really nice. This is one of the better box loaders. You know, I, I don't like, and we're going to find some, but they've got like the little mini box loaders. Those aren't nearly as fun as these. This is like a piece you can put in, I don't know, in your bedroom, on a mantle, on your desk, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, my, my stands are kicked back a little bit, but you get it. Let's put them back there. There you go. There you go, Bubba. Gifted's flowing already. Hold on. I missed something. <laughs> Dropping 50 gifted out of the gate. Thank you very much. Holy cow. That's extremely generous, Eric. Thank you so much. Oh, you want to get the vibes lifted early, I see. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, it's already decided, man. It, it was posted on both the listing and in Patreon in the post. But I'll explain it here and for the, I don't know, it'll probably have to happen. Let's set the over under on how many times I need to explain this at 5.5. The non-baseball player cards are going to be randomly distributed to the people in the breaks. The non-baseball player hits are going to be randomly distributed to the people who didn't get any hits that are in the break. That's pretty simple. You're welcome, Cody. This is pretty, it's a pretty fun rip as far as like entertainment factor goes from I don't know I, mean, I guess if you go to just some standard no name no personality breaker probably wouldn't be anything outside of the ordinary but we'll have fun with it like we always do it's just 24 packs to grind through these packs are like they're made of a unique material too it's not like your everyday pack right here it's almost like a plasticky it reminds me of uh, Gypsy Queen Pack, but not as hard to open. Like, Gypsy Packs are ridiculously tough to open sometimes. These ones these ones are pretty nice. It feels like a wax pack, kind of. Like a thin wax pack. Uh, <laughs> Chris, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure people are lined up to get that one. The mix is Bowman, Chrome, and Ginter. Whatever you pull tonight that's food, that's what you'll have for dinner, says Mad Adam. I'm going to hold you to that. I'm going to hold you to it. Black Border Jazz. How am I going to keep these? This is going to be This is going to be not fun to sort. Not that fun. Adam Lefk. Le Adam Lefko, NFL Network. And and Emmy, not enemy. Emmy award winner. Look at this, the Koto. Japan, I can picture how it sounds in my head. Adley. Roast lamb. Mad Adam. I hope you have some lamb. If not, I'll see you in 45 minutes after you go to the store and buy yourself some lamb. Adley Mini. And there's hit number one. That's a cool looking one. It looks like a deep bloody color. Definitely either dirt or blood or something. I mean, that color, I don't recognize that color. I'm sure they wouldn't put a blood relic in there. I wish they would, but a sweet hit number one. 
going to the Cubs. Mixer number one. Who's got the Cubs? Ian does. Congratulations. Tune in for what is sure to be a wonderful experience kiteboarding with Striker. We're going to go out and do a little kiteboarding on Lake Michigan, where the waves and the wind are something else. The Great Barrier Reef. Got to go see that someday. One of three hits on the stage. Randy Johnson approves. Marte. I guess I could be looking at the backs of these, but we got... A Ginter back, two Ginter backs, nothing too crazy. Really, the good ones are the wood, the wood and the stained glass. There's a, there's a few different one ones you can get. There's this guy who is a an artist of some sort. Blake Snell, Cy Young award-winning Blake Snell, maybe? Future Cy Young. I like the brown pinstripe. Going to the Padres. Guys, it's it's real close in the fantasy baseball championships of the world. Cristo, the Redeemer. It's five to four. I'm slightly ahead. Got a huge performance today. Out of Jamison Tyone. He went six innings, seven strikeouts, got the win, zero earned runs. Snagged him off the waivers, made the right decision. Enter back. Ooh. Whoa. What is that thing? I don't know what that is, but it looks aggressive. Black border, Vientos. I think he had a home run yesterday. Hmm. What do we do first? Kiteboarding or parasailing? Parasailing. Parasailing seems. <clears throat> I don't know. Fun, but there's really nothing. Just like a. It's like a roller coaster ride. If it's just like a ride, you know, you're just sitting there. It's not like skiing or wakeboarding or something like that where you actually have to have some physical skills. I'm forgive me, I'm not gonna be glancing up a whole lot into chat because I have no clue what I'm looking at here. And I need to focus. Music's probably bumping a little too hard for some. Anaheim. Teen Wolf. Raised in Detroit. I think I already. Boxer? Zion Clark? No idea. Oh, fighter. And our last hit is the autograph. We're getting a lot of sports hits. A lot of baseball hits, which is good. Bo Naylor, rookie autograph. And I need to sort my list. One moment. Data, A to Z, here we be. Bobby, that one's going to you. What size case are you gonna need for these? I hear everybody asking. Well, that fits, that fits pretty nicely in a 100 point. That's a 100 point. They're a little thicker. These cards, a little thicker. They have this in like the iPhone rock band garage thing. The pipa, pipa, I don't know. OK. 
Ken Griffey Jr. Rarest of the diamond. Only four pitchers have struck out 20 in a game while throwing no more than nine innings. Roger Clemens has done it twice. Then Kerry Wood, Randy Johnson, and Max Scherzer. And that's going to be it. Who's that? Yawn? Oh, it's her last name. Okay. It's unfortunate. How do you become an entertainer? She's an entertainer. Super yacht captain. You really got to overcome your last name if you're going to become some kind of an entertainer. I don't know if a super yacht captain is an entertainer. But if she made this card, she's got to be somewhat entertaining. You really got to overcome that last name, though, don't you? Three autographs. Good thing my last name is Firehands McGee. It wasn't much of a hurdle there to get into the business. I bet a lot of you thought my real last name was Brakes. It's Firehands McGee. Bowman, Chrome, HTA. This is an interesting mixer, isn't it? We got some high end and some relative low end. I think Ginter is like a kind of a low end release. But we got a ceiling here. Ceiling potential. Ultra ceiling potential. Highs, mids, and lows in this break. The highs come in the form of a Bowman Chrome HTA where you get three autographs in this box right here. Two parallels coming out of here. Gold Shimmer. Take a deep breath and exhale on three. One, two, three. Whew. Anthony Piguero. And that's a gold. And it's pretty gorgeous. Pretty gorgeous. Adam, you're in. You're free rolling. Doesn't that feel good? And the last one is Axel. Plaz. In case you were thinking it was a different Axel in this release. Pirates on the, on the board. And speaking of the pirates... Let's get a perfect game out of Andrew Abbott tonight against the Pirates. I need a lot of Ks. We could potentially, I don't want to say seal the deal, but if Andrew Abbott has a good game, which he's my minus 172 favorite at home against Andre Jackson of the Pirates. Only in San Francisco. Look at that. Looks like a postcard, doesn't it? Oracle Park. Doc! With a 10-month. Welcome to Thunderdome. Using this 10-month. You guys see all those memberships dropping? Everybody who got one, you get a free member chat like Doc just used every month that you're a member. And I guess it's like the equivalent of a $10 super chat or something. Girl Sully, hi. First timer here. Well, welcome. Welcome. You're among friends. As a matter of fact... Let's lift the vibes up just for you. 
Dean asks, how do you decide who gets the non-baseball cards? Well, here's how I'm going to do it, Dean. All of the non-baseball cards get randomly distributed. The non-baseball card hits get randomly distributed to the players, to the people, the men and women, boys and girls who are in the break that didn't get a hit. Try to spread the love around so everybody gets a little something, if possible. Yeah, Brooks, I think he may have just had a regular first, but not a first auto. So sometimes they do that in Bowman. They'll give you like a regular first without your first auto. And then they save that for Bowman Chrome. Dekine asking for likes. Aaron talking about kids these days. I mean, back in your day, you know, you know what I'm saying? Back in my day. They used to teach kids how to write their name. Nowadays, they have other agendas. S reading, writing, not important. No foods this year, my... There are two foods. We just pulled lamb chops. Definitely food. Thanks for subbing, girl Sully. Look at, look at, there's some food. La bandera of the Dominican Republic. It's a specialty, a delicacy even. The flag, I kind of want some. I definitely want some of that. Looks good. I'll tell you what I had for dinner. A giant portobello mushroom. Slathered in olive oil. A little bit of garlic. Ground beef. Bacon. And spinach. Call that dinner. In the Firehands McGee house. Snowy owl. Contreras Mini. Tennis player. Eh? Duh! Pickleball. So close. God, I almost got that one. Einstein impersonator. Wade Boggs. That's the Tampa Bay Rays Wade Boggs. Have you guys noticed Tampa Bay Rays Wade Boggs has been sneaking into a lot of mixes? A lot of releases. Prince Fielder looking young. Wade Boggs of the Rays. Who's got the Rays today? It's John. Fishing. Mike wants to know how to get in. It's a good question. I got an answer. Right here. I'm going to drop a link. If you like this channel and you want to support what I do, you want more of it, you want more of it and more and more and just, ugh, you can consider joining the Patreon group and become a slammer. Slammers get notified when I post a break. They can buy in if they want. Usually they sell out really fast. I've been trying to get as many people in as possible, though, by spreading the breaks around and being weird with the times that I post them, etc. What if you're having trouble getting in on a break? Just send me a DM on Patreon asking for an early notification. And I'll send you a little notey before everybody else just to try to get you in. I don't know if they should have put G-Leaguers in here. I know. You know why they put G-Leaguers in here? Put it in the comments. Put it in the chat. If you know why they put G-Leaguers in here. And I'll let you know if you're right or wrong. Bye.
by any other name, Allentown, Pennsylvania. Or yeah, Steel City. It's the fastest growing major city in Pennsylvania, Allentown. And Shane Bieber. He's back. He's back. Guardians, Bobby. Come on up. What are we thinking so far? Maybe to spread the wealth. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that was funny. <laughs> Nice one, but for real, anybody? Licensing clause, Tops is taking over NBA from Panini. Scott Henderson is an NBA draft pick this past draft. Same reason why they put pickleballers in. He was a rookie who didn't go to college, instead the G League. Just saw someone pull a Rafael Nadal out of this. Those G-Leaguers have exclusive auto deals with Fanatics. Kootenai. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Something like that. It's something like that. All right, let's guess. Let's guess. This is going to be a fun interactive stream where everybody in the chat gets to back and forth. We're going to have fun. Go ahead and guess in the chat. White. It's me, White. What's he do? We can judge only based on his suit. This is we don't got a lot to work with here. This is a real generic one. Suit coat. Blue shirt, no tie. So he's relaxed. He's not super formal. He's got a sly grin on his face, tilted head. He's down to have a good time. Kind of a half unshaven face, not like super close. I'm going to go with like. Soccer commentator, actor on Yellowstone. What'd you guys say? Yellowstone. You cannot. I'm just like real estate. Matt, right there, real estate agent. That's what I'm going for. Not like really. What is he? Good. Yeah. See, Jeff's got it. A man with a good chin. Sports agent. That's what I'm talking about. Soccer owner. Yes. Yep. TikTok star. That's the range of answers. Crackle barrel owner. Like he owns franchises of crackle barrel restaurants. That's what we're going with. Like that kind of thing. Funny answers. And if you happen to get it right, two points. If your answer is funny, but way off, three points. Um, and if you like are really trying hard to get it right, negative one point. So I just got negative one, kinda. I wasn't. Uh. Oh, it's who are we kidding? I get plus three every time, no matter what. Okay, this is a great one to guess. Owner and operator of Big Mike's Barbecue Ribs. God, another actor? Boring. Big Mike's Barbecue Rib Joint. So I've never been more disappointed. 
Okay, here we go. Subject worn memorabilia. X game X games judge. Oh, he's a musician. Way off. Well, we know it's for dessert, Mad Adam. There's going to come a point, like, real soon where we know all of them already. I mean, he's got a microphone in his hand. That one's pretty easy. Uh, Nathan's hot dog eating play-by-play -play analyst. And game reporter. That's pretty close. Five points for me. Oh, everybody knows him. Uh, everybody knows him. What's up with this? Oh, it's a drum or something. Okay. Oh, look at Check this out. Didn't even see this. This is a numbered one. Totally slid away for some reason. 18 of 25. Why would that be? Oh, it's a Brooklyn back. Okay. I thought it was a Ginter back. So we got a Brooklyn back. That's sweet. <laughs> I'm going to top load that and put it on the stage. What kind of... It's got to be a t-shirt. Like one of those real thin t-shirts. That's what it looks like to me. Hand model. There's only one of those that we're going to pull tonight. It's the Striker Breaks one of one hand model relic where it's just a couple of pieces of my fingernails. Ugh, it's disgusting. Bowman Chrome 2022 Hobby Box Babe Ruth Incoming. Numbering on the front is strange, yes. I think someone may have... They either made a boo-boo or that's just like a new thing because the numbering was on the front of some of those, like front and center on uh, some of those Bowman Chrome. You pulled a pickleball, Relic? That's funny. I think I'd be an amazing pickleball player. I've never played, but I'm good at tennis, so that's, that translates. Get yourself a nice manicure here. Never. Blacksmith Break says Striker bought a 22 museum collection Julio Auto to 199 for 299. How'd I do? It's tough on raw raw cards, man. Can't could not even begin to tell you. I'd have to look at it, inspect it, give it a sniff. <laughs> Giancarlo Stanton. Man, this is... We're going to turn that down a little bit. Sounds obnoxious. Stanton to 299. I think you know what? There we go. Just avoid it altogether. Oh, that's sweet. Grayson Rodriguez. He's starting to come into his own finally. Just need a little seasoning. He's going to be one of the better pitchers in the league, I think, at some point. Once he gets it all figured out, I'm putting him there. I just want to. Jesus Bugarin. And that's a speckle auto going to Colorado.
Shimmer Brian Acuna. Uh, base wave Beatty numbered to one, uh, yeah, one hundred. It's kind of a stand worthy. That's that is a stand worthy card. I'll put him up there with Grayson, I think, just as a an homage to the quality of the hit. Oh, a hat tip to the hit. Luke Gold. That's the first Luke Gold I think I've seen. No disc golf stars, bummer. Yeah. Wow. I'm telling you, there's something to do with these boxes. There are certain boxes that have, that are like loaded with rookie color. Look at, I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You don't, often get like rookie color like that i mean it's in the same box especially but when you do it's like it pours yoshida yeller is that an image variation too i think it is maybe hold on let me get something to compare it to mm, yeah 63. I think that's an image variation. No, 63. Okay. Whatever. It's sweet. Trying to organize. Hold on. Happy Friday. I hope you're having a spectacular day. Anybody got big plans for this weekend? Watching any games? Going to any games? Got some UFC fights on the horizon. Going over to a buddy's to watch college football and fights. Anybody? Yoshida Variations him signing. You know, Connor, I have not seen very many image variations. Rookie image variations. They're tough pulls. Definitely haven't seen the Yoshida. Love it. Trout. And we're off. The rip. Round three. Ginter rip. Going to Giants versus Dodgers. Woo! Waiting to see Acuna wait, make history. Yeah, Keminaro call up. Yeah, he's he got called up. I don't know what. In, I don't know about in place of Wander. He got called up because he's the goat. Yeah, I do. I like Caminero. I had a, uh, what was it? A purple auto? First auto of his? I sold it, though. Can't keep them all, man. I'm, my collection's getting too big and too out of control. I gotta sell some stuff, I think. Because I'm my rule, I violated my rule. And it's, it's in current violation. Of course, the only punishment is that I complain about it. 
I just complain that I've got too many sweet cards. So I got to list some. I don't want to though. I was trying to find room for one awesome card in my slab box. So that means I had to get rid of one to like slide one in there and I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I found that I had two Chrome Soto rookies and I was like, maybe I can just get rid of one of these. But I didn't want to. I probably that'll probably be the one I have to sell though, because I have two of the same one. But I'm gonna have to make room because I got a PSA order coming back, and there's bound to be a couple cards in there that I want to keep. We're gonna move a little quicker. The fun in games is over. I like how that one was numbered on the front. We said it was kind of weird, but at least it helped us recognize that it was a hit. Keep the minis in a separate pile. That's what we're doing. Minis in a separate pile. That'll help. Bayo. Relic. I, I, well, with the Caminero call-up, that's just one more awesome rookie we're going to have next year. Lots of sweet rookies going to make their appearance in 2024 tops. And I'm already excited about it. Black Border, Vlad. Poor Riley. Tommy John for Riley Green. That came out of nowhere. At least to me. I didn't know. I didn't know that was even a thing. I just I didn't even know why he was not playing. I just like, oh he's just glass. Yeah. Mancini. Bat relic. And that is a Cubs Mancini. Going to Ian. You know what? I think... I think this is a 75-point hit, actually. Yep. I said 100-point earlier. It will fit just fine in 100-point, but it's a perfect fit in a 75-point. Liar. Mole Poblano. Hmm. Oh, it's the national dish of Mexico. I kind of thought that would be the taco. I guess it's something I've never heard of. <laughs> the taco. Just kidding. But why not? What's the national dish of the United States of America? pizza that's what i'd guess i'd be like i don't know a hot dog <laughs> pizza and a burger like it's got to be something like that right a hot dog spike ball look at this that's something fancy something fancy down there oh can we guess snowboarder Winter Games athlete. Yeah. I mean, that was a good guess. That was good. Yoshida Black.
Skateboarder. He makes batting gloves. Giant Buddha statue. Wonders of the world. And Relic, the final hit. It's a Matt Olson Relic. I like the contrast with the red and then the standard standard issue back red relic going to the Braves we're about to get to the thing that I don't know what it is Oh yeah, now I remember. These are what are they like one per box? I remember looking at that. It's like called it's called a uh, fig leaf parallel, I think. They look good. Fig leaf. Don't forget to hit the like button. 100 likes, 462 in the house. Ceiling box. Come on, baby. 101. Incoming. We got to get a super. Haven't gotten a Bowman Chrome super yet, and I'd like to. According to the internet, there is no national food in the U.S. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder why. Don't answer that. So, mm. Luis Guanipa. Braves. Autograph. And we got a we got a upside box here. To 150. Two more parallels. We've been hitting these two parallel boxes like crazy. And this one? Carlos Rodriguez. One more parallel. Blue. True blue. And I think. No, that's not. It's a blue ray wave. Blue ray wave. Ooh, Emmanuel Terrero. Emmanuel, he gave me a good effort on that SIG, and we got to listen. Oh, dude, I thought it said 150. All I could see was that one. I thought it said 157 of 150, and I was about to... But it's 0. 057 out of 150. But let's give credit to this dude for his sig. Because he really tried. And I respect that. If we're going to make fun of the kids who didn't try, then we got to give respect to the ones that did. Good old college try. Yours is fish and chips. Can you guess where I live? Fish and chips. We have a lot of fish and chips here in Michigan, but I'd say like Maine or something like that. Maybe it'd probably be lobster if it was Maine. How about like Massachusetts or something? I don't know. I don't know. Fish and chips. Something on the East Coast is where I would guess. But maybe, maybe it's Michigan. I have no idea. I live here. I have no. We got to make the national food hot dogs. As kind of a self-deprecating joke, but also like it really, I mean, we, as a country, we probably consume the most poundage of that food. 
in the whole world. It's got to be. UK. Are there state foods? That's why I guessed somewhere on the East Coast. I, I thought you were talking about inside the country, which state has a special food. We got a nice little place for fish and chips in our town. I never get there, but they have a steak at this place. It's a New York strip. I don't know, like a 12 ounce steak or something. New York strip. And it's on every Tuesday, I believe. And it's like just so cheap, like $9.99 or something for a steak meal. And you get like sides and stuff with, with Yeah. Super cheap. I got to get there more often. Here's the problem. It interferes with Taco Tuesday. So you got to make a choice. And it's a serious one. Taco Tuesday or cheap steak dinner Tuesday. Taco Tuesday is way closer of a drive. Christian Vaccaro. Case it. Bowman Ascensions going to Washington. Michael. Didn't know the U.S. had fish and chips. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Prevalent around here where I live. Like every restaurant has fish and chips. McDonald's. They don't even call it fish and chips. They call it a filet of fish and an order of fries. Joey Estes. We've got a restaurant called Whitey's near near us. No joke. It's called Whitey's. And they've got fish and chips. It's good. Christopher Torin, refractor to four ninety nine. I see an orange. Do you guys see it? You can't even get Taco Bell for nine ninety nine. I can. The way I order. I order all the cheap stuff. I'm, I'm more about like how much food can I get for X amount of money and be real full when it comes to Taco Bell. Then I am about like ordering, you know, if it, if infinite money, even if I had infinite money, I still would be cheap like this, but infinite money, then I get like four cheesy gordita crunches. But that is not the case. So I'll get like whatever the, you know, whatever the cheapest stuff is. And I'll get like five of them or something, four or five of them and get out the door for, for under 10 bucks easily. This is what I was talking about. It's upside down too. Orange shimmer. Brandon Maia. It's a nice hit going to Tyler. One more box. The last box of Allen and Ginter. And here it is. And then we'll move on to the next break. We got three breaks tonight. So stick around. Strategy works with alcohol too. Oh. Believe me. I know where that strategy. Like. That strategy is like my life. It's also with baseball cards. Like it's with everything. I'm I'm the value guy. Like I'm searching for value everywhere. Some call me cheap. Others a genius. Clayton Kershaw. My guy. I 
I prefer frugal. But you learn to be frugal when you work for your family business most of your life and they pay you less than minimum wage. You learn to be frugal when you participate in back-breaking manual labor for less than minimum wage. It has an effect on you. So you order the 99 cent menu everywhere you go. I don't even think they have such a thing anymore. Like, you can't even get anything for 99 cents anymore, can you? Oh, you know what? I think you can get a one of those potato soft tacos. I think those are a buck. Thrifty, yes. How the rich stay rich. <laughs> like Warren Buffett driving around like a, like a 1989. <laughs> I don't even know. Caprice or something and living in a like a 1500 square foot house he's the richest man in the world that's kind of my style and my wife's down too because she's needed a new car for her. <laughs> so long and she's like nah I'm good I'll keep driving this thing till it's dead. I was like, like a tear came to my eye. I love you. Are the rip cards going to be ripped in these breaks? So here's how that's going to go, Eugene. If someone gets a rip card, I'm not going to rip it unless the person is in the chat and they approve it and they want it. That's the, that's how we're going to do that. Oh, here's some new ones. Okay. Here's some new ones. Gordon. Gordon. I'm leaning accountant. Some kind of an accountant, although he's got red hair. He's got those accountant glasses. He's not happy, not a happy person, very stressed. Um, management of an investment firm. Oh, comedian, wow, tortured, I got it. Not nearly as happy as Biebs, look at him. <laughs> hey Gordon, you wanna be on a baseball card? I guess, do I have to smile? Well, you don't have to. Fine. Wow. I mean, you can tell a little something about this dude's ego. From the, All you need to do is just look at that pick. He's making deals. He's on the phone making deals. Sports agent. Basketball insider. Uh-huh. Oh, man. The Claves. Just a couple of sticks. You guys, two wooden sticks made the release. And yet, here I am. Sitting here, singing and dancing and providing laughs. and Nowhere to be found. But two wooden sticks. In rod we trust. Inanimate wooden rod makes the release. Striker, not even asked. I get it. Wood itself has a long and storied history. Two wooden sticks. Luis Arias. Yeah, what do you? What's a guy got to do? Freaking s'mores makes it. What's a guy got to do? <sighs> One of these days, I'll figure it out. 
two wooden sticks. Like, I can make better noises than two wooden sticks. Like, 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 already I'm ahead of two wooden sticks, just being able to do that. I mean, heck, I can whistle. It's better than two wooden sticks. I'm making a case right now. A legitimate one. You can't argue it. Like, even if it's not me, like my chops, these chops right here, those should make it like as a musical instrument. Oh, we got a rip card. All right, everybody stop what you're doing. Yankees, Tyler, I know you're in here, Tyler. Are we ripping or are we not ripping? It's don't feel any pressure if you don't want to get it ripped because the card is valuable, not ripped. Um, I think usually these are like a hundred bucks, like out the gate, somewhere around there, 75 to a hundred bucks for a rip card. So don't feel like we got to rip this, but if you want to, I will inside this card will be a red mini auto or an exclusive mini parallel wah, wah, or an exclusive mini wood parallel. Those are one of ones. We'll take that mini metal parallel we'll take that and a one-of-a-kind sketch card all of those except for exclusive mini parallel are legit so for the time being we're going to set it right here until tyler gives us the yay or nay in chat Oh, that'd be, that'd be sad, Aaron. Card champs with a 20 month. Go Mariners. Don't forget, smash the like button. Thanks for your loyalty. 20 months is a long time. Glad we got a rip card. And, and the more I see this guy, the more I want his auto. Tyler, nothing out of Tyler. Scott Rowland, Bat Relic. You can even feel it too. It's a grainy one. Black Border Pujols. Stonehenge and so what we get one of these per box or something or is it every other box I think we only got two so far gross hands Look at the hits.
Tyler. Tyler. Last chance. figure out how to do all this organization organization is key before we move forward any further i want to know the name of that and i'm going to find out right now i'm, I'm going with mini fig leaf figurio can we call the figurio Fig figury, fig tree parallel, foil fig tree parallel. Let's call it a figurio. I like that. Gross hands figurio. Yamada to 499. Torin to 499. Shea Langoliers to 199. Freeman figurio. Stanton to 299. Acuna shimmer. Snell Pinstripe, Nailer Auto, Morel, Boggs, Piguero, that is a gold shimmer to 50, Bieber Auto, Plaz to 499, Diaz Base, Bugarin to 299, Rodriguez to 150, Guanipa Auto, Gold Base, Mancini Bat Relic, Maya, Orange Shimmer, Jordy Vargas, base auto, Estez auto, Vicaro case hit, Bayo relic, Olsen relic, Torero, blue ray wave to 150. We got a more no, Brooklyn back, number to 25. Allen relic, Yoshida, yellow, Beatty, wave, Grayson Rodriguez to 150, Arias relic, Roland, and a rip card. And it's Peraza. Number to I wonder if they're going to do Tops Rip this year. Oh, 500 watching. Hat tip to everybody in the audience. That's like a... Uh, pretty decent sized little arena to fill up. Club, at least a club setting. I don't know. 500 seat room. Decent. If not spectacular. Break number two. We got to put it on the board. Boom, boom, up. Ready to go. Ready to rip. And one last thing. Bam. Sorting. A to Z. There it is.
<clears throat> You're here to see the hand model. Don't get too close. Shohei. These things are registered weapons. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of that knuckle. Imagine if that connected with a tooth. Tim of the 1999 Striker Breaks. Always entertaining. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate the kind and generous donation. Berserker Rage. Wishing a one of one mega star hit. I think we'll get one. The kind's got the race. Cap and Braggins. Says you couldn't believe you got the Red Sox. Congratulations. There's gonna be There's gonna be a Red Sox in here somewhere for you. Lots of rain hitting the East Coast. Check your fancy lineups. Good idea. Why didn't you play Christopher Morrell? I could have put Sal Freelich in there. Ugh. Can't complain though, Tyon got the dub. But I'm gonna need I'm gonna need my offense to come in big, come through big tonight. We got anybody playing in a juicy location? Brian Reynolds is playing in Cincy. Bobby's at Houston. About it. Julio's at Texas. <laughs> yeah, let's turn two says between the box topper and the minis. Allen and Ginter knows what breakers dream of when it comes to shipping. More like nightmares, yeah. Allen and Ginter, a breaker's nightmare. Original film by Stryker. I'd actually make that. Should I make a little short film? About the nightmare that is Elm and Ginter to sort and ship. Starring Brandon Marsh with his really sweaty hair. Hmm, Nicholas, Cubs fan. Oh, come on, you got to guess. Cubs MLB shop cashier. Actor, of course. Oh, it's the guy from Rookie of the Year. I thought he looked a little familiar. I've been working so hard and a soccer ball makes it. I failed in life. Soccer ball makes it slightly better than two sticks. Slightly better. At least a soccer ball is like something that someone had to make two sticks. That just grew out of the ground. Nemo. Suppose someone, I mean, you don't even have to carve the sticks. You could literally go into the forest, grab two sticks, hit them together, bada bing, bada boom, you made Allen and Ginter. Hmm. He's holding a ball. 
Looks like a baseball, sort of. Is it another pickleball player? Close. Professional wiffle ball player. Gases. <laughs> what is this? Dun 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 dun. <sighs> Two sticks. I've never felt like more of a failure. Ski. DJ. We already determined what this guy was. I forget already. Pickleball? God, comedian actor. <laughs> I'm just going to go with the default answer of pickleball player. So that's going to get randomly distributed. Star autograph card. Adam Ray. Comedian. Actor. Lover. <laughs> lover. Fenway. I, it just said Boston. I was like, well, I shouldn't it say snorkeling. All right. I'll give it, I'll give it to snorkeling. Snorkeling can make it above me. That's fine. Give snorkeling. It's due. Hey, we got another relic. This is a non baseball player type of a box. Chris Fowler, sports broadcaster. Look at this nice black piece of his suit coat potentially take a moment and take care of Nemo and Fowler wiffle ball guy again is that the same guy wait yeah, another professional wiffle ball player. Got it. The bat gave it away. The yellow, the cheap yellow plastic bat gave it away. Mmm, enjoying a pina colada. It's making me thirsty. We need to have another boozing and perusing stream. I haven't had one of those in a while. Years. It's been years. Yosemite National Park. W. Outdoorsman slash big game hunter, content creator and writer. So he's a YouTuber. YouTubers are making it. Did I say outdoorsman? Outdoors. We're going to give, I get points for that. The camo shirt, clear giveaway, but I still get points. Hmm. Break dancer, TV personality slash musician. He looks like he break dances for a living. Oh, Tommy Tim 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 Timmy trumpet. I was gonna say Tommy trumpet. Timmy trumpet.
Cardshells.com. Gotta love them. I'm rich in pre-cut sleeves. If they took pre-cut sleeves as payment at Taco Bell, I'd be getting some cheesy gordita crunches. Alas, they do not. I tried. They called the cops. I'm putting them in a sleeve. I like that card. It looks more like put Oh, it is poutine. I thought that was going to be the... Okay. The picture looked kind of like the Mexican dish. It's such a weird, such a weird mix. We got freaking Bowman Chrome HTAs and Allen and Ginter. <laughs> what are trombone players? What are they? If you give me some time, I can think of something funny. But I'm kind of like divided. My attention's a little divided. What are trombone players? <sighs> Jacob Melton. I'm trying to go with like some kind of Here's where here's where my head's at. We can work this out. We can work this bit out together. So they're like the nerds of the marching band, like the, all the marching band, all nerds. I'm an, I was in, I was the best marching band player. So I, I'm able to say that and people can't get mad. I was the very front row, first chair trumpet in the marching band. Okay. Leading the way. But if you play a trombone, you sir or madam are a nerd. As am I. Takes one to know one. Ricardo Olivar. So I was thinking like, you know, what is a trombone player? And then I thought of who can, uh, who's a nerd? And the first thought was Steve Urkel. God, does that date me or what? I don't know of any other nerds. Revenge of the Nerds and Steve Urkel. Uh, like Bill Gates, definitely would be the biggest one of all time. And then like, that's all I got. So you guys take that and run with it. Axel Sanchez. There are a couple Axels in this release. Axel Plaza and Axel Sanchez. So if you're in the marching band and and you play the trumpet, you're one of the cool people. But if you play anything else, and I mean anything other than drum, you can get away with being in the drum. You, like if you play the drums, you can be considered cool because that translates into rock and roll. But what else? I mean, clarinet? Nah, you're, you're, you're a nerd. Um, all of that. Yeah. So it's on a scale of trumpet, cool, to trombone, nerd. Biggest nerd in the marching band, though? Is it trombone player? Yeah. It is. Then you know Shogun. <laughs> you know. Yeah, tubas are for fat guys. Yep. I mean, you just got to be a big person to haul that enormous thing around. Especially if it's like a sousaphone, you're in a marching band. It's just this gigantic... You got to be big. Symbol players are cool. Jeez. 
Shane. Shout out. Bowman Chrome. We're going Bowman HTAs and we get a little Chrome action then back to the hilarious stuff. To 75, Gabriel Gonzalez. It's a very sweet looking card. Here we are opening baseball cards, talking about who's the bigger nerd. I've said this before, but every time I go to the post office, almost every time, there's a young lady there that knows what I do, and she says, hey, nerd. Doesn't even call me by my name, just says, hey, nerd. So I say, hey, what? Muted it. <laughs> I hope that actually muted. Might get in trouble if it didn't. Arius to 4.99. It muted. Okay, good. Because I said it for real, and it was loud. Corden Carroll. Diego Mosquera. Green parallel. We got two parallels in this? Or wait, was that it? Either way. One, one, two, three out of four autographs have been parallels. Christopher Torin. First, going to Cody. Yeah, me too. Go, go, jackets. You, me, and everybody here. We got a lot in common. Do they even have more than one post office employee in Lapeer? Yeah. Um, but usually there's only one cashier. Sometimes there's two. If it's a good day, there's two. But that's like rare. Usually it's one dude and there's a line of a bunch of people. And that, my friends, is why I don't ship internationally. I'm not waiting in line for 15 minutes just to get to the, the cashier, the clerk, and then go through the whole fill out all the stuff. No, no way. So if you're international and you want to join the breaks or anything like that, you got to get ship my cards or something like that. Some people do it. How many eggs? You know, I had one. And then I'm pretty sure I gave it away. I give away a lot of cards. Wong, you make your own dough? I know how to make pizza dough. I worked in a pizzeria for years. Would make the dough sometimes in the morning. Plenty of times I made the dough. It's really easy. Don't get a big head, Wong. It's not like we got Gordon Ramsay up in here. 
be going to a Lions game this year. No, I mean, if I get invited, maybe, <laughs> but I'm not gonna. And I do like the Lions this year. I do. First time in, dude, probably like six years I've actually liked and enjoyed watching the Lions. I hated the Quintricia era. Hated it. Matt Patricia has got to be the most unlikable person in all of football. And that's saying something. But I like Dan Campbell. And I like it. The games are fun to watch because he goes for it on fourth down a lot. And he like fake punt, fake field goal, fake this, fake that, extra possessions. Like it's a fun brand of football to watch. It's infuriating when it doesn't work out, but. No one liked the Quintrish era, era says Honey Badger Detroit. Yeah. No, some people did. That's the sick part, dude. And I know a lot of friends. I have a lot of friends who are just like all in the whole time, no matter what. No matter what. They're just like, 100% I'm in. No, not me. I'm, I judge them by their but both, all kinds of things. I'm not that way with Detroit sports where it's like, no matter what, I love you. Nah. Oh, here we go. Haven't seen this guy yet. This guy looks like someone we played poker with for years. Had about as much teeth as a jack-o'-lantern. And his name was Harold. God rest his soul. The mud guy. Yes, he is. That looks like the mud guy. My name is Mud. Diggity-diggity-don, it's a plain old Justin Turner, gray relic. Going to Boston. Shane, you're in. You're on the board. Not quite free rolling yet, but you're on the board. Haven't seen her yet. Okay. Don't be be very kind here. Um actress. Oh snap. Actor. They call themselves actors. They're all actors nowadays. I was, cl I, I mean, gosh, I was close. I haven't seen this one yet. Surfer. College baseball player. Damn it. We're in like a batch of new ones. Man, there's nothing to go with here. There's nothing to go with. Nice head of hair. Silver chain. Arms crossed. Let's look at the pants. Comedian. I, I'm going to default to comedian. Musician. Damn. Default answer. Oh, there's a lot of new ones. Golfer. God, comedian. I'm one, too, one too late on comedian. One too early. Commentator. Sportscaster, yes. That's, that counts. That's what I meant. Just 
Really happy. Nice set of teeth. Musician. Rapper. Yes, okay. Bomani. Man, we got a bunch of these non baseball player cards to randomly distribute to the non hit teams. Wait a minute. Two Rickies? One one was different. This is a different one. Look. How's that work? Oh, one's one a high number? Yeah, 352. I love the fact that Ricky got two cards. He deserves it. Gosh darn it, he deserves it. Space alien? We've got to be about done with. I don't know if I've seen this dude yet, but he's got to be like a DJ. Nope, tattoo artist. <laughs> Andre Ethier? At least I know that's on the table. <laughs> I just keep thinking about how two sticks made it. I hope we get the two sticks parallel. How sweet would that be? We got a brown one, white, gray, and brown. Two sticks auto, that'd be sweet. Definitely slab that one up. Put it in one touch right away. Uh, Joey Ortiz. Sem Roberse. Roberse. He kind of looks like. Uh, uh, I just saw him pitch last night. I mean, Nate Pearson. Doesn't he? That kind of looks like Nate Pearson. Zulueta. Zulueta. Refractor. If you guys go to cardshells.com and use the code STRIKEFORCE, S-T-R-Y-K-E-F-O-R-C-E, -E, you get 10% off your order. One-time deal. So make it count. We 
We got three boxes left. <clears throat> okay, so just looking to see. Thing. Just looking something up. Just looking, looking, looking. Silver portrait, hot boxes only. Hot box, that's what we want. Go jackets, thanks. Justin Verlander. trying to find the odds of a hop. I, th I thought I read somewhere that it was two per case. But I'm not seeing that anywhere. Let me know in the chat if you guys know. Is it two per case hot box? Or is it not guaranteed or what? Can we get a beer chug for a one-on-one? Uh, I don't have any beers, Andy. I'd have to go all the way out to the barn and then come all the way back. And my beer chugging days are long gone. But when I was in college, I was the fastest because I know the trick. Have you pulled an elf yet? Not out of this. Elf was a couple years ago, though, right? He, elf was in it a couple years ago. I remember. Brewers close to clinching. Reds have the easiest schedule. I, I want the Reds to make it, but there's a lot of good teams. Let me see something here. Cause I was I was really diving into this the other night. Playing what ifs. What a what a weak division. The NL Central. It's no AL Central. But the brew uh, I, uh, How the heck did the Brewers do this? Because what a bizarro division. The NL Central is the bizarro division. Cardinals, worst team, 67 and 86. If you asked me before this season, I'd be like, yeah, Cardinals have a chance to. But then they have no pitching, so that makes sense there. And then the Pirates, we all know. No need to keep going, beating a dead horse. But the Reds, the Cubs, and the Brewers are all dancing. They're all jostling for position. And the Brewers, good Lord, 87 and 66. I, I didn't realize how good they were. And my boy, Sal Freelich. I think he was batting lead off the other night. He's batting fifth. It, man, it's just, it's all over the place where Sal Freelich is. But the lineup tonight, not bad. Yelich, Contreras, Santana, Canna, Freelich, Adamas, Donaldson, Turang, and Perkins. And Mitchell, you know, hasn't even played. He, he got hurt long ago. Garrett Mitchell, he was a nice piece. At least I felt like he was. So, yeah, congratulations, Brewers. And you know what?
There you go. A little more love. Ha <clears throat> ha! Yes. We got old time hockey. Look at that. And it's like it's like an Under Armour shirt or something, and it's got like a uh, a little bit of a run in it. It almost looks like a like a nylon. It's got like a run in it. Content creator and writer, old time hockey. He might be my favorite, like strange person in in this release. I kind of want to pull up his. Does he have a YouTube channel? Should I subscribe to Old Time Hockey real quick? Old Time. <laughs> it's like the first thing that comes up. 130,000 subscribers. He's not that much better than me. I'm going to give him a sub. There you go, old timer. And then there's a hawk. Wow. Can't wait to watch an old time hockey video. Should we pop one on right now? Nah. Oh, there's a guy that we haven't. Okay, funny shirt with a suit coat on top of it. Fancy hair. Um, not a full teeth smile, but he's still sort of happy to be there. Male model. TV personality. Austin Riley, young thick himself. Mm, Seventy five point. I want a pina colada. Man, that's making me want a pina colada. We got a one one Speaking of the bird, look at it. I willed a Yelich one of one with this hat and the chat and an aluminum baseball bat. one of one Christian Yelich. Who's got the Brewers? Bryce! What a sick hit. I like it. Hot B. That's the hot B so far. Cameron with a five spot. Watch old time hockey in bed at night. Soothing videos and get you stoked for dinner the next day. Okay. Thanks for the super chat. We got a 101. I'm glad I didn't agree to the, the beer chug, although I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't at the same time. No. I need the... Ski. Did we already do ski? I don't recognize him. Plain gray sweatshirt. Skateboarder. Oh, he's a DJ, artist, entrepreneur. Black border. Gunner. That's a nice card. That's a nice color match, too. Black. My sleeve gunner up. The black borders are ultra rich this year. Rich in color and pigment. 
Fred McGriff. Going to the Braves. Steven. Drink of choice. These days, I dabble in Trulies. I know. I know what you're thinking, but it's this, a very specific one. It's the lemonade ones. They just are so good, and there's like zero hangover. But normally, like if I drink beer, it's Coors Light. But my favorite is Dos Aquis Amber. Reed Detmers. One of these. And the reason why I switched away from beer is because allegedly I'm allergic to brewer's yeast. And it would just, my allergies would get bad after a night, like a nice long night. So I kind of had to cut that out. I mean, it's helped. It really is. And those lemonades are just so delicious. And there's no calories in them, and they're just not Bud Light. What do I look? But then again, I mean, I'm talking about drinking a Chewly, so it's like, well, who am I to talk? Ah, claw was a thing of the past. They're not, they're just, I mean, they're fine, but. Strawberry lemonade. Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess the only problem is that they're too good. You need some Tampa Bay. Ah, careful what you ask for. But yeah, I get it. But you know what's going to happen now. <laughs> what if it was like right here out the gate? Like right there. Oh, that's a <clears throat> look at this color match. That's a sweet color match. Julio, Aqua Ray Wave to 199. Marco Vargas. Wow. Julio box, eh? Two numbered Julio Rodriguez. There's like a little thing up here, unfortunately. Maybe you can just kind of smooth that. I don't know. Number to 499. McLean. Gunner. Huli, another Julio. Luis Torres. Angels. Yellow to 75. And Dario Laverde. Another Angels hit. We got one more. Purple Shimmer. Jose Gerardo of the Marlins. Going to Chris. Salas. Did you order any stadium club for the channel? Not yet. I don't know how much stadium club we're going to do. Kind of depends on some things. But 
but we're definitely going to do some. 100%. I just don't know how much. Go Jack. It says I pulled a Francisco Alvarez Ascensions Auto. Pretty sweet. Yeah. Have you seen the vertical prospect process cards from this box? Yes. Those are cool. I like them. Ryan says, I am opening new A&G blasters I picked up today, and I just pulled a card number 351, and it's Ken Griffey Jr. Reds card. How did I pull a 351 in a 350 card set? Well, there are high numbered cards, like SPs. It's actually 301 to 400 are considered short prints. But, you know, they're not like super tough short prints to pull, but they're they're not uh, in the base set. So it starts with... Oh, and there's... I forgot about the in-action variations. Have we hit any of those? Anyway. Didn't open the box topper yet. Stadium Club Chrome. Are they going to do those, though? See, that's what I don't know, Wong, is are they going to do Stadium Club Chrome? And here's a, here's a little thing about that, is Chrome is always better, but you're getting two autographs in a Stadium Club hobby box. You're only getting one in a Stadium Club Chrome hobby box. That's something. That's something to consider. Also, I don't know about, like, I've opened up a decent amount of Stadium Club Chrome in the past, and it's cool and it's fun. But there's an argument to be made over which is better. Like, you can... You can argue it. Regular Stadium Club or Stadium Club Chrome. Because you can get Chrome cards out of regular Stadium Club as well. Those Chrome parallels usually get like one a box or something. <clears throat> I don't know, Eric. But you can type in a Google search and look it up. October something. That's all I know. Both standard and chrome. Yeah, if they have chrome. Do you guys know if they have it for sure? Chrome? Like, I don't think they're doing Allen and Ginter chrome this year. They shouldn't. I don't know why they did three different sets of Allen and Ginter in the past. They did this regular set, and then they did the uh, the chrome set, and then the black, Allen and Ginter black, or whatever they call it. Like, out of all the sets to do three different ones, this is not the one. In my opinion. Bryce. We got four nice box loaders. Building a mount castle. <laughs> Did we already do this one? Snowboarder slash winter games. Yeah, winter games. All right. I think we already did all of them. Most of them at least. Trey Mancini again. You got two Mancini relics. And this is the last box of break number two. Kendall.
You miss Gypsy? I know, I do too. Ginter Black should be numbered, like every card. That'd be pretty cool. See, now if they're going to do something like that, I like kind of where they're going with Gilded. How every card's numbered. So yeah, I would be open to that. If you want to do another Ginter or anything really and have all the cards be numbered and special, that's one thing. Roseanne's auto. Going to the Marlins. Chris. Ooh, I like the orangutan. Wait a second. Oh, his name is Ken Allen. This this monkey has a name. Nicknamed the Harry Houdini. Ken Allen was a Bornean orangutan known for his ability to escape his enclosures at the San Diego Zoo. The enterpri enterprising primate made three getaways in 1985 alone. Each time he was found strolling around harmlessly. Maybe you shouldn't have locked him up. He clearly wanted to get out. Maybe you shouldn't have locked him up. Poor guy. Go get a different orangutan that's just going to sit there all day. That guy wanted out. Ken. Ken Allen. And why are you naming a, an orangutan a human name? It should be like... I don't know. Captain Swartzen. Or so, like, you know, something... Captain Longarm. Like... Uh, it's an infinite amount of names. You can name him a human name. It's just, it is kind of funny when animals have human names like that. A first name, last name. It is kind of funny. Thomas Ian Nichols, actor in Rookie of the Year, right? Is that what we said? Rookie of the Year. I'm glad he made it. It's about time. There's some, there's some of these people that I'm like, good for you. And that's one of them. There's others that I'm like, there's a Tampa Bay Rays card. Kirby is the figgity diggity. Let's look at the hits. Hot B. Here we go. Oh, we got. Oh, we got a bonus one. You get a bonus one? Thought you're only supposed to get one per. Torres yellow, Julio to four ninety nine, Julio to one ninety nine. Bunch of figgity diggities. Trumpet, Kirby, 
Kendall, Detmers, Springer, and Ethier. We got two bonuses. RES Refractor, De Los Santos, Torin, and a Gunner, Black Border Gunner. What did Cooney do? Did he blast one? Another one? Good night to stack the Braves. Every night's been a good night for that. Serta Auto. Ray? Comedian actor Adam Ray. Nimmo Bat Relic. Fowler Relic. Sanchez, first speckle. Gonzalez to 75. Olivar to 50. Melton. Old time hockey. Mullins, Ortiz, Zulueta, Mosquera, Turner, Roberse, Bomani, Gerardo, Vargas, Laverde, Mancini, Riley, McGriff. The hot B, the real one. Christian Yelich, one of one, framed mini. Nichols and gross hands. Time for the final break of the evening. Alex with a $2 donation. A&G Gunner Henderson, four, over 200 in value. What's, what's, uh, what's that IV mean, Alex? Intravenous. Are you shooting gunner into your veins? Yes, there is a break number three, and it begins right now. Geo. Oh, image variation. Got it. Ah, too high, I have no idea. I couldn't tell you. This is a brand new release, like. People pay crazy stuff. Are we ready? Eric, donating 50 memberships. 50. Double hat tip. Appreciate that. Wow. Look at him flowing in. Flowing and flying. Thank you so much. Break number three begins with a bang. So this, there were four boxes in each break. It's a complete case. So if there's supposed to be a hot box, it's probably going to be in this one. It's got to be. It's got to be in this one then. It'd be nice if you got like a oversized rip card per case too. The old triple ripper. Lots of trouts coming out of here. The perspective looks really weird. Like he's just got this upper body and then like his leg, like everything gets smaller. But I still like it. Friday Night Fire is in full effect. It says born a go-getter. Yeah. Too late to get in on the brakes. Yeah. You sell product to rip live mm, sometimes, but not hardly ever. Like once I did or twice, maybe. Usually we sell it out well before, so I have time to 
print labels, deal with problems, wrong addresses, oops, I bought too many, whatever. Print the labels off, fill in the spreadsheets. Gotta join the Patreon crew. The link, I forgot to pin to the top. Let me drop it again for you. If you guys want to join in sometime, consider becoming a slammer. Links being flooded into the chat as we speak. And pinned to the top. Slammers get notified when I post a break. Download the Patreon app on your phone. That way the notifications come right to your cell phone. You also get an email, so you get two notifications. If you miss two notifications, I just can't. I have nothing I can do for you. Unless you want to send me a direct message asking for an early notification, I can do that for you. I'm the La Tortuga of Rippers. Whoa. What an honor. Is there something juicy coming? I don't know how juicy that is. It's a hit. It's three for box. I sold you. I'm not trying to sell you on anything. I'm just here dropping facts. Do we get a hot box? Is this our hot box? Oh, it's a hot box. I told you we we're going to get one. Here we go. This is what a hot box looks like. They're shiny. Rainbow foily. They look good. I like them. Every card is one. Wow. Riley Green Relic. You know... It's not true what they say. They say only pitchers get Tommy John. It's not true. P bar for the nineteen ninety nine. Thanks for your help with your advice on my vid. You're very welcome. Much success. I wish you much success. Thanks for the donations. Very generous. Bo, look at them all. Look at all the rainbow foil that you could ever ask for. Unless you're asking for a rainbow foil to be on an insert, then you're out of luck. This means that we're going to get like a really nice hit out of here, right? Since we got a hot box, should should equate... Uh, it means we should get bonus hits. I mean, this is just what I want. It's probably not that. Are we going to get a bonus hit? Let's hope. Nasty Nestor, by the way. Just kind of strolled by him. You know, just as a side note, and I don't want to get into too much trouble here, but if my daughter was like, yeah, I want to be a running back, I'd be like, your brain is way too precious, honey. Like, I don't want my daughter, like, if you want to play football, fine, but a running back? That's just asking for brain damage. Leave that to the boys. Like, we, we don't care. We're just like, yeah, I'm... But my precious baby girl's brain is way too precious to be ramming full speed into a 350-pound behemoth. Suzuki Black.
And Cunha. Diggly diggly do. Are we going to get a bonus hit? It's not looking like it. Unless. Last stack? How many hits we got in here? Tough to tell with all these minis log jamming us. Hmm. Barry Zito. These are tough. Man, I'm not seeing very many numbered hits. Like, none. We've got no numbered hits. How much of this do they make? Know what I mean? Ooh, you got a ban in, Chris? Nice. <laughs> I mean, not funny. Thanks for the banning. Doesn't it feel good? All the power. You just have so much power. You can just be like, never talking here again. That's going to do it. That's a hot box. Hot box number one in the books. There are very few numbered cards in the set. Only some auto. I'm talking about hits. Like, usually you can get a numbered hit, like a, you know, like a relic or an auto. There should be, let me see, let me see here. Box loader autos to 15 or less, cut signature autos, one ones dual auto relics, number to 10. Red ink framed mini autos, black frame, number to 25. So, yeah, not that many parallels. I guess that would make like a hot box card quite a bit more valuable then since that's just since there aren't a lot of parallels. Chris is feeling trigger happy. Wong, best be on his P's and Q's. Juan Benjamin. Double parallel box. Shim. Shim autograph to 150. And an atomic BJ Cook. You missed a ban hammer, Derek. Uh oh. What does that mean? Oh no. Uh uh. Hold on. Whew. Disappear under the table to fix something. I think we're going to be all right. I don't have a fan constantly blowing, blowing on this rig. And everything will fail. Better hurry. <laughs> we got to get this in before the whole system breaks down, guys. The 
fan is struggling. Struggling. Oh, look at this. That is something different. Not in a pack, just slung on top. Only in Atlanta. Hope that works. 10 to nothing Brewers in the second. <clears throat> They're making a statement. Hey, Brian. Enjoying the content. Thank you. Where did all the bots go? We've done a good job banning throughout the years. No, I didn't spill something on the cards. The fan just stopped working, and that means that things are going to start overheating, and then the streams are going to collapse. You're thinking a rip card incoming? I like those odds. I, I mean, I like your vibes. I mean, I like your prediction. Tim got it. It's coming. We already got one, though, and I don't think there's more than one per case. I think that's like a case hit. That's another numbered card. But it'd be great to get a triple rip box loader. Tell me... That Sal Freelich is part of this 12 nothing route. I'm going to need that. Weeding the garden, yeah. Pulling out weeds. Our garden is well manicured. Garden is just a metaphor for the chat. For those of you who are new. The big card. Yeah, it looked like a rip card, didn't it? Kind of. It looks like something like that. Uh-oh. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, man. The stream dies suddenly. I think this is going to be okay. It's it's just got to like charge up for a minute. fan in place let's hope it works S spicy hot in here almost 77 degrees Edwin Diaz going to the Mets Got the mat. I gotta put this in A to Z. Benjamin. We've reached that point when it's just like, let's get through these cards. Let's just get to the hits, shall we? Sal. Oh, Sal's on my bench, but you. Yeah, Sal's on my bench. He's got a run scored and an RBI. Two things that will 
probably be very important. Kyle Tucker. Baseball bat relic. Brian Reynolds, figgity doo. Hey, there's one. And in action, I, I don't know if this is the first one we've gotten, but that is not an easy pull. I probably missed a few along the way, but let's see. It says that they are It says <laughs> come on where two per case in action that's where i was getting the two per case not the hot boxes Bobby. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think of that? Christopher smashed the like already. Nice. You guys are doing great with the likes. Uh, you know, another, another couple hundred of them, and we'll be well on our way to worldwide fame. De Young. Ginter or Gypsy? I'm more of a Gypsy guy. I like how Gypsy had two on-card autos per box. Whereas this release has <clears throat> one and then two relics. Bowman Chrome. Yeah, most likely, Brian. Every year they do. So I I would assume they would do it this year. I didn't hear about them disbanding it like some of the other things. Maybe they'll bring it back one day, Red Sox King. I, part of me thinks that the discontinuing of certain sets has more to do with them trying to get the whole thing under control with new owners, new owners, and and not be spread so thin and like just. It's got to be super stressful. One release after another, after another, after another, after another, and it never, never, never stops. And it's just, just the grind never stops. So by trimming out like six, eight releases, whatever they did, it at least gives them a chance to breathe and fix issues and problems and learn. And maybe they add them back in slowly one by one, or maybe they change it up and 
add new, fresh releases, whatever it is, they want to pump out as much product as possible. So, at least as far as the demand will take them. This is cool. Spencer Steer Refractor to four ninety nine. As it is, man, we're going to have a crazy October with the releases. If you check out the release schedule on Beckett, which isn't 100% accurate, but it's something. October has got like mush, a bunch of releases. So strap in. Hey, Zeus Gleez. Purple. Dodgers. I'm going to Eric. For this break, it's a little bit different. It's not all cards. It's all Chrome cards always ship. But in this break, with when we have paper cards, I only ship out the paper rookies and the hits. If it's not a if it's not a rookie or a first, then it's just getting randomly distributed. I'm not sorting out all these base cards. It's ridiculous. Nobody cares anyway. But I do sort out the rookies and the firsts. Hits, inserts, all that gets sorted and shipped. But all the base paper just gets randomly distributed into people's stacks, piles, whatever. So for this Alan Ginter stuff, all the non-baseball player stuff is just going to be randomly distributed. And then the the veterans and stuff like that, same thing. Almeida first shimmer. Well, you're welcome, Brian. Aaron Judge. Will there be a cheaper version of Bowman Chrome release? No. <clears throat> Not as far as I know. There's no uh, retail or light boxes on the checklist, on the odds list. So I think it's just hobbies and HTAs. So they're, they're trimming retail as well. It's not just these releases. They're trimming out retail. They used to, as far as update goes, I haven't looked at all the different formats of update, but they used to have fat packs and update as well. And the last year they did not. And I don't know this year. I haven't even looked. I'm not into that. I'm not into update that much this year. We're not going to do that much of it. I'll get a couple of cases. You know, we'll dabble in it just because it's something new and it's cheap. We'll mix it in with some better stuff, but eh. I think everybody's kind of has that same feeling of eh. So someone's going to get stuck holding the bag on update. I, I don't know. I mean, it's either going to be like Target, Walmart, whoever 
retail outlets that sell it and they're going to have to discount it if they made a bunch of retail. Usually they make less of update. <clears throat> or, uh, you know, fanatics themselves are going to have a bunch of it and they might have to put it on sale or something at some point. Or, uh, I don't know how much like blowout those guys have to get, but they're someone's going to get stuck holding the bag. It's not going to be horrible. It's not like the, it's not gonna, like it's going to be 2021 update or something. Even 2021 update wasn't that bad because I had Kelnick at the time. O'Brien. Blue Relic. What are you talking about, Tundra? Tons of people in here. Coughlin. This is a uh, definitely a, a niche release. We had 500 in here earlier watching live. Oh, he's just a troll. Got it. Y'all come back now. You hear? Just kidding. Don't. <laughs> it's that easy. We got, hey, we're two, two today. Can we make it three? Interesting choice. Robert Kraft. This is why Alan, this is why Alan Ginter is sometimes, uh, there's going to be some people who are just like, yes. But this dude is. That's why. Might as well put a Trevor Bauer auto in here. Or an Ozuna auto or uh I don't it's that pitcher for the Dodgers. Might as well put one of their autos in there. They just don't happen to be billionaires and can buy their. <sighs> That'll play. That'll change the mood. Otani. There's a nice hit. Cameron. Fresh 75 point. Smells like it. <laughs> Smells good. Clean, pure. We had to purify the stage. You know what? We're going to give him the K treatment.
HTA. Your AC, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure it's valuable. I, I just. Just kind of that, that whole situation just makes me sick. What power and money get you? Junior Franco of the Diamondbacks going to Eric. Autograph number two. Is it a parallel? Yes, it is. Number to 150. We got one of those good boxes. Is Tours. And Marcus Lee saying two parallels. Boom, boom, but boom. Yeah. We got two boxes left. We're going to do, yeah, we'll save the last Ginter for the end. Why not? We'll go back to back Bowman Chromes. Get ready for yeah my workout is a rubber band and i just like extend you know like one of these also in my big rig i've got one of those arm pull down things from over the top <sighs> Every day, back and forth to the post office. That's where I get my pumps in. I've seen those little hand workout things. It's like, it's like five little like rubber band stretchies, and you just like, <sighs> kind of want one. Get really muscular hands. How funny would that be? If I just started pumping iron, but only my right hand. And it's ugh, veins and like pulsating. What is that royal? That is a Bobby in action variation. Thoughts on Torkelson moving forward. He seems to be coming into his own. And I think he's basically like a discount Pete Alonzo. That's what it feels like. Whoa. Look at that. Sick boy in there. Was Bowman Chrome good this year? Yeah, it always is. Eh, maybe not always. 2021 Bowman Chrome wasn't the best. But most years it's really good. One of the best releases. True blue Roman Anthony. But then again, you got to like kind of be into prospecting. If you're not into prospecting, you don't know any of the prospects, it's not going to be fun for you to rip. So I would suggest Tops Chrome. Bowman Chrome, Tops Chrome, two of the big dogs. Just depends what you like more. There's probably more of a ceiling for Bowman Chrome because you get prospect first autos and that's like the epitome of collecting. But then the second best thing is like a rookie auto. So that's in top. top they both have ceilings, but I think the Bowman Chrome ceiling is slightly higher. Maybe significant. It's got quite a bit more potential ceiling. Because if this guy's like the next Jacob deGrom or whoever, 
whatever player to have their first autograph is it's the most collectible thing and a gold here's a gold you get like gold base stuff too rookies all the gold rookies tim anderson to 50 Here it is. A plain white swatch on this case hit. Number to 150. Kumar Rocker. Going to the Rangers. Jack, this card is as thick as about 20 base cards. The question is 180 or 260. We're going to dabble with a 180 first and see because I think I remember these are able to fit into 150s 180s it's numbered to 150 Giancarlo to 499 Sang Two Sang Autos. We got the Speckle and we got the Bass. And a Magenta Shimmer. First. Aiden Sanchez. Adon Sanchez. I do the same thing every time. Adon Sanchez. Ding, 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 ding. Silas in the last box. Right here. The last Allen and Ginter box of the case. And the last box of the break. Update might be sneaky good. I don't think there's much of a chance for it to be good. There's, it's going to be okay. All right. There's a chance for it to be, I don't know, man. Cause like, so you got to set some standards. You got to compare it to uh, the only way it would be good is if they made so little of it that parallels were flowing out of there. They would have to just make so little of it. The saving grace of the release is that all the rookie debuts are there. So that's cool. But that's about it. No, MJ. There, it would like if there was somehow able to have SPs or SSPs or something of one of the amazing rookies that are going to be in next year's release releases, series one, Chrome, whatever. That would be a saving grace. That would be like a, a potential thing. If they had regular SPs in there, then that would be like, oh, okay, at least we can get some SPs, nickel and dime. But how are you going to nickel and like, what are you going to collect at an update except for the rookie debuts? All-star cards? Mm, come on. Black gold. They're, okay, they're going to have black gold. Start talking about some things that are going to be cool. Everybody likes the black gold cards. be nice if they had black gold and good rookies like last year's update. Really what it's going to do is it's going to make people go back and buy 22 update. Because it's going to be like in the realm. It's probably twice as much. Like last year's update is probably going to be twice as much is this but it's still affordable enough still gonna buy some update hangers yeah i mean i'm still gonna open some <laughs> don't get me wrong i'm not gonna do like i'm not pc opening cases and cases and none of that
Spot, like every other card is going to be a rookie debut. Exaggeration, but not that much. The last box of the break. Here it is. Alvarez, blue pinstripe. Rookie relic. I already go through this. No. Kirby Black border. Hitting for the cycle. Aha. Couple more hits coming. Will Myers going to the Reds. Bat Relic. Last mini stack. We got a Corbin Carroll, Riley Green. Is there, there it is. Oh, nice. Corbin Carroll bat relic. It's got to be the best relic yet. Besides that of old time hockey. Corbin Carroll, no old time hockey, that's for sure. But he'll have to do. George Kirby. And that'll do it. Let's look at the hits. There's that Kirby Stanton to 499, Sanchez to 199, Tim Anderson Gold, Roman Anthony True Blue, Almeida Shimmer, Okamoto Refractor to 499, Galiz to 250, Spencer Steer to 499, Coughlin. Figure do make me schmoo. BJ Cook Atomic to 100, Benjamin Base Shim to 150. Tucker Relic, Green Relic, Zito Auto. I don't even remember talking about the Zito Auto. Ginter going... <laughs> Diaz, Pinstripe Relic. I should have looked down there. Cortez Relic, Otani, O'Brien, Cook, Collado to 299. Sang to 299. Franco, is Tourist to 150. De Young. In action, Bobby. Kumar to 150. Robert Roberse. Alvarez sang. Carol Bat Relic. And Will Myers. And then we got that too. Well, how you like Alan Ginter? What are we thinking? 
Yeah, it looks like one hot box per case. That makes more sense. Because that's... Yeah, that's that makes more sense. One hot box per case. And we're going to do a little bit more. I, I'm considering... I got one whole case of this left. And then a little partial case. Which will just be like sprinkled in from time to time. But we might do a whole Allen & Ginter case break with a non-baseball auto spot instead of doing the random distribution. So potentially doing that next week or maybe a half case, half case or something. Something like it. it'll be pretty cheap, pretty affordable for something like that. More, more of a fun thing than a super high roller type deal. If that sounds good to you. Good luck on your rips. If you pull anything sweet, leave it in the comments below. Let me know. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll catch you all later.